Yo, what is up, my beautiful friends? So in this video, we're going to turn your ordinary PC or laptop into a literal rocket ship and make your PC drastically faster just by changing these settings inside NVIDIA control panel to be able to gain more FPS inside competitive and online games such as Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, Valorant, Marvel Rivals, and any other game, and also reduce input lag on your mouse and keyboard. So without any further ado, let's just dive into this tutorial. So first off, we want to right click in the middle of the screen and then click on show more option and open NVIDIA control panel. Or alternatively, let's just search for NVIDIA control and you'll see NVIDIA control panel. Just click on it and then NVIDIA control panel would be opening. So first off, you want to open adjust image settings with preview and just make sure you click on use the advanced 3D image settings, right? Nothing else. Click on apply and then open this settings right in here. Manage 3D settings. Click on it and then you'll be able to change all these settings. Make sure you are in the tab of global settings, not the program settings, right? Because it will just change all these settings for a specific program. So then after that, I will give you a file that will turn the first option inside your NVIDIA control panel from this to this, like a more advanced control over the first option and sharpening inside your NVIDIA control panel. And here's the file. This is a reg edit file, right? What you need to do is that you just need to download this file from my website down in here and just download it, double click on it and just click on run. Okay. And then click on yes, has successfully been added to a registry editor, right? And then your registry editor will change like this. So what you need to do is that you want to turn it on, change sharpen to 0.20 and then change ignore film grain to 0.70. That would make the graphics inside your game drastically better, right? Okay. Here's the first. Okay. Step. And then for the second settings, ambient occlusion, you want to either turn it off or put it on performance because what this basically do is that it adds depth to the shadows inside your game, but it sacrifices a lot of FPS. But in our case, we definitely prefer to turn it off compared to put it on performance or quality. And then after that, for all these settings that starting with anti-aliasing and also anisotropic filtering, you want to turn them all off like why off because by turning them all off you will give the authority and give control to that specific application for you to change it and you can optimize in game options for you to be able to get the most performance out of your pc so i'll definitely suggest you to turn them all off to anti-aliasing mode okay and then after that, for background application, max frame rate. So my suggestion is that if you just have one monitor, you definitely want to put it to 20 FPS, right? Just change the settings to on and then change it to 20 FPS. So what this basically do is that when you're pressing tab and alt and you want to multitask on your PC, it reduces the FPS on the application that you're not using reduce it to 20 fps right but the point is that the catch is that if you have two or three monitors like for instance let's say you're watching a movie on your second screen you definitely don't want your second screen to be 20 fps you definitely want your second screen to be at least 60 fps or if it's higher if your second or third screen is 240 hertz you definitely want to put it like way higher or even maybe turn it off, right? But for the majority of people that have one monitor, I'll definitely suggest them to put it on 20 FPS, okay? And for coded GPUs, if you have more than one GPU, just make sure you check in out all the GPUs and you're allowing your graphic settings to be able to gain all the performance from every GPU that you have. But if you have one GPU, just 
make sure that you have checked it, right? And then click on OK. So, and for the Coda system fallback policy, make sure that this is on driver default, right? Driver default, don't change it. It will allow NVIDIA handle GPU fallback policies, right? Don't change it. So here's an important settings. If you're playing competitive games such as Valorant, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, Marvel Rivals, you want to definitely make sure that you have turned this option off, DSR factors. But otherwise, if you are, for instance, playing Red Dead Redemption 2 or, for instance, Cyberpunk 77, I'm going to tell you what options should you check, right? If your GPU is not that powerful, right? For instance, let's say uh, if your GPU is like a 1060 or 1070, you want to check out these options, 1.20, 1.50. But if you have a powerful GPU, for instance, let's say 4090 or 5090, you want to check these options. If you have a powerful GPU and image quality has the most priority in your case, and you are playing a single player game, as I said, a Red Dead Redemption or Cyberpunk. But otherwise, if you want to gain more FPS inside your competitive games, for instance, Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, Overwatch, Marvel Rivals, definitely turn them all off to be able to get the most FPS and lowest input lag in your case. It was for this. And then for a low latency mode, as I earlier said, you want to put it on ultra. Otherwise, you want to turn it off. If you're playing a single player game, turn it off. Competitive, turn it ultra. For max frame rate, you definitely want to turn it off to be able to give your application authority and control to limit maximum refresh rate. And then for multi-frame sampled AA, in parentheses, MFAA, definitely want to turn it off as well because it smooths out uh, the quality on your screen but reduces uh, some sort of FPS. Down in here, inside OpenGL GDI compatibility, we better to set it on prefer performance if we are prioritizing FPS and having the lowest input lag. And for OpenGL rendering GPU, you want to make sure to select the most powerful GPU that you got. If you have more than one GPU, just select the most powerful GPU that you have for this part, right? And then down for the power management mode, definitely want to make sure you click prefer maximum performance, right? Please do not just select normal because it will reduce the power given to your GPU. Okay. And then down in there for preferred refresh rate, definitely make sure that you click on highest available and Nvidia will detect what is your monitor's refresh rate and you will gain the most FPS and refresh rate out of your monitor. So for the shader cache size, you want to put it on unlimited, right? Nothing else. And down there, texture filtering, negative LOD bias. You want to put it on allow. Okay. Texture filtering quality. If you play Red Dead Redemption, Cyberpunk 77, single player game, put it on high quality. Otherwise, for competitive playing games, online games, put it on performance. And then just scroll down, texture filtering Trilinear optimization, put it on on. For threaded optimization, put it on auto, just do not change it. Triple buffering, put it on off. Vertical sync, put it on off. If you want to add vertical sync, if you put it on off, your application would have the control to change it inside game. So for virtual reality pre-rendered frames, put it on one as well. For virtual reality, you've put it on adaptive. And also for Vulkan OpenGL present method, put it on auto. So here was it all for this tutorial. One of the most important parts was down in here, sharpening. 
and uh, make sure you are downloading this file inside my website. Link is down in the description. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video.